What's up guys, it's me the Dolphinatic and welcome back to episode 6 of my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Egglock. In the last episode, I believe what we done was we arrived at Slateport Beach and we took on this house full of trainers and won ourselves some hot, or not hot drinks, just won ourselves some drinks. So quick recap over the team because I honestly do not remember what the hell happened last episode because it's probably been a week since I recorded because I've been away for Christmas obviously so sorry for no uploads over Christmas but I'm gonna make it up to you guys uh, now hopefully um, first we have Aragog who thank you everyone who pointed it out this is the name of the spider from Harry Potter not a dragon and Aragon is what I'm thinking of so luckily we're at the name rater's house or the place where the name rater is so uh, I think we might be paying a visit to him because there are other Pokemon we need to change the nickname of too we have Lance the Dratini here um, extreme speed being its only good move by the look of it um, Luchette, the whole Lucha, obviously the powerhouse of the team after taking down the first two gyms single-handedly. Then we have Amara, a nice ice and rock type there with the refrigerate ability, so the sooner it learns a normal type move, the better. Minchino, I remember you Minchino, Silk Scarf, Double Slap, Power. Uh, Patches the Riolu, who two people both claim hatched this Riolu, but I know who it was, thank you Pokemon Battles. Josh, it was not you, I've still got yours to come, so... At least if this really dies, I know there's another Riolu in there somewhere. Anyway, this episode, we're going to go and pay some visits. Uh, we're going to explore Slateport, actually. Because there's quite a bit going on in Slateport. And we're also going to, uh, going to stop some bad guys. Because some bad guys are taking over the town. And that's never good, is it? So let's go to the Pokemon Center first. Because my team obviously does need healing up. I believe we probably... No, we must have like finished roughly everything we needed to do on the beach last episode. So I'm happy we've done that area. Actually, I believe we could catch a Pokemon. Let me think about that for a second. I think we can. Yes, we can. Now, the question is, do I want to? Do I want to? Or do I want to wait till I get a better... I'm going to wait till I get a better fishing rod. Because I've got these guys chilling in the box at the moment. Um, so, I don't need to uh, do... I don't need to do anything with them. Let's um, let's go and take a look around Slateport, shall we? So, there's lots of things to do. Um... Oh, that Anarif, I, I remember saying that Anarif was from Mrs. but it actually wasn't. So, um, it's kind of weird that that someone else was breeding Anarif with Akraja at the same time. So, let's quickly change Horsey's name. And if I have uh, hatched any of your Pokemon, and you would like me to change the nickname, or I need to change Mancino's nickname as well. And I uh, I know I've spelled it right in the layout, because I had to look it up. How do I spell Cappuccino? How do I spell Cappuccino? <laughs> I'm going to have to look this up. I believe it's two P's and two C's. But otherwise, I'll get it wrong. Let's quickly Google. Let's change the name of Horsey first. Capu... Chino. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, your name should be Aragon. And I'm pretty sure that's probably a male dragon. But never mind. You can be Aragon. Still. And let's quickly change Minchino to probably the most generic Minchino and Chinchino. Nickname Cappuccino. And you guys would have known that's what it was nickname was going to be. Because I decided it from the go whenever I got it. I think it was episode 3 or 2. Um, you could see that I'd named it Cappuccino. I just need... Hopefully it fits. Cappuccino. Yeah, it fits. It fits perfectly fine. So, Minchino the Cappuccino, which will evolve into Chingino. Say that after a few drinks on Christmas Eve. Right then, let's go and... Where should we go first? I say we go to the contest hall. Although no one stops you from... Okay, that's obviously later on. <laughs> we'll come back here in a bit. So let's have a quick look around this contest hall. I love con I did love the Pokemon contest. I'm pretty sure this guy gives us a TM or something. Or well, someone does. Someone give me a TM. It might be you. Hey, man. No, I'm not a man. Jesus Christ. Thank you for the torment. But I'm not a man. I'm insulted. I'm... I, you know, I'm... Yeah, I'm, I'm insulted. I'm insulted by him calling me a man. Um, I'm pretty sure that guy doesn't do much, and, oh, I didn't mean to sit down. You know, we'll come back here, because I believe we, we will, there's more going on later on, so we'll come back and visit later on. Let's go and check out the market. Yeah, let's do that. I actually know what we can do is we can go check out the Pokemon fan club. Let's go in here, shall we, and check out what's going on. Talk to this old dude, the old dude of the Pokemon fan club, normally does give you something. Ahem, I am the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. Being the chairman, I am naturally the most important. No one could best me when it comes to raising Pokemon, not one. In any contest, my victory is a foregone conclusion. But that would deprive others of their enjoyment. So I now while away... Hang on. So I now while away... 
What? So I now while away my time. Okay. Examining the Pokemon of others. It is marvellous to witness how others have raised Pokemon. The contented faces of properly raised Pokemon. The kind of loving glaze. No, you know what? Screw this guy. I hate him. Oh, he did not run too long. Uh, it's not bad, but it's not good either. For instance. <laughs> okay, so he obviously gives you nothing. Let's talk to this woman here. Uh, it's a photo of a Skitty with an adorable ribbon. You can actually see the pictures. I love seeing Pokemon that are friendly towards their trainers. Pokemon are sensitive with their feelings to trainers. If they treat your Pokemon with love and care, they'll become friendly. When your Pokemon become friendly, please come show me. Pokemon is really friendly. Well, I didn't say long, did it? And, oh, we got the Soothe Bell. Okay, I'm going to give that to Riolu. Because the sooner that evolves into Lucario, the better, to be honest. So let's give that to Riolu. I need to uh, put these in order. Thank you, Riolu. You can hold that. And let's put them in order by name. Should we talk to anyone else in here? Uh, you'll give me an interview, so I don't want to talk to you. Do you know the Pokemon Furfru? They're very rare here in Hoenn. If you have fur fruit with you, I'll trim it for 500 pounds. I do not have fur fruit, so you will not be trimming it. I only have one thing that needs trimming. My hair. God damn, guys, you're so rude. The Pokemon enjoy you having items on them. I only acted really happy when I gave it some protein. Hmm. That's very interesting to see. Now I say, let's go check out the market, shall we? See what's going on down here. Normally, there's quite a lot. So, do you have anything for me, woman? Shopping here, you can shop, shopping where you can breathe the scent of the ocean. Sleepwell is such a wonderful place. Indeed it is. Let's talk to this guy. What do you sell? Seafood. Okay, you don't sell anything. You're standing in front of a shop, but you're not selling anything. Travelling TM shop. What TMs can we buy? We could buy two. Do you want any of these, though? I can live without them for now. I think that's fine. But there you go, guys. If you need any of them TMs, Fun Wave might be um, pretty helpful for when you're catching Pokemon. Um, oh wow, do we want any of these incense? I didn't even realise there were this many incense. Right, nope, we'll, we'll ignore them for now, they cost too much, I'm poor. I'm a poor ten year old. You horsey, you've really got to put more energy into training, wow. Okay, what do you have to say? Energy guru, you're going to give me proteins and stuff, I don't want them. You will be what, dolls? Oh, you're going to sell cute dolls soon. I think more of this area opens up when you've uh, got the secret base, I think... Um... Yeah, there you go. See, you, you, there's a lot of secret base things going on here. So if you want to buy some decorations, I recommend you go there. Um, so that was the market. I guess there isn't too much there for the time being, but there will be soon. What's up here? There is a lighthouse. Let's talk to this guy. The sea is just so vast. They could, the sea could have, could the sea have been made by tears shred, shredded by Pokemon? No, of course it couldn't. Are you retarded. Apparently so. Let's go back up north. And um, let's go in this house. You know what? I haven't actually explored hardly any of the towns in this game on my own. So My Pokemon's a hasty nature and it has a higher speed stat than any of my Pokemon. Maybe nature sometimes do have stats grow. Well done! You need a contest pass if you want to enter a contest. I got mine from a famous contest star, Lizia. Lisa? Lizia? I don't know how to say that. It wasn't spelt like Lisa. When the water's clean, the fruits of bountiful harvest gather. And where people gather, a market for exchange soon starts. This is how a town is formed. Wonderful. Any Pokemon you get in trade, you can't change his nickname. The original trainer's love for that Pokemon is in the nickname. Okay, and as you can see, obviously the most exciting part of any place, the museum, <laughs> is blocked off. So we're going to have to go find someone who can get us access to this museum. And there's only one place we haven't looked, really. The Stern Shipyard. Wanted. I didn't see what that said. I'll have to go back and read that in a second. Um, if this goes here and that goes over there, then where does this thing go? And what about this doohickey? Oh, I can't make heads or tails of this. Hmm, you. Oh, sorry, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to draw up designs for a ferry. Oh, those parts you have, those are the Devon parts. But, hmm, this won't do. I guess Captain Stern is probably off to the Oceanic Museum again. Sorry, but can I ask you to find the captain and give him the parts for me? Right then, so it looks like we're going to be given more dirty work to do, because that's what people want to give us. So let's go and uh, see what we can do over here then, shall we? Now, as you can see, the Team Aqua guys have moved, and we still have to pay to get in. Tight ass museum. Fort Museum's meant to be free anyway. <sighs> Never mind. So the thing is, you can actually talk to these guys down here. <coughs> they don't battle you. Oh, it looks like I've got it right in the first time, so... One of them does give you the Thief TM. Now, I don't know what actually happens if you miss this. 
I don't know if you can't actually ever get it, but I would suggest you talk to that guy to get the thief TM, and none of the others give you anything, so uh, you can just go upstairs, which is what I'm going to do. And who have I got on top of my party? I've, I think I have Horsey, so what do I want to... Who do I want to put on top? It's going to be... They're going to have rough skin, so I don't really want to do too much. I don't want to use Lee Chet, because I know Lee Chet is, is overpowered, but it's the safest Pokemon to use. So let's go over and find... There you are, Captain Stern. Yes, if you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone at Devon. Thank you for bringing the case all this way. Now we can prepare for our expedition at last. <laughs> Hold up a moment, we'll be taking those. Well, what was that, and who are you people? We're Team Aqua, our boss wants the parts in that case, so shut your yap and fork it over. Well, jeez, wasn't that nice of them. And here comes the awesome Team Aqua intro and music, I love this thing. So we sent our Caravana, this is exactly why, exactly why Luce is going to be brilliant for the team, because all the Caravanas and Sharpedos are dark types. So let's go for the Karate Chop and kill this thing. Or you can Aqua Jet, just for that extra damage. And obviously that with Rough Skin is going to it's gonna be annoying, because there is another battle coming straight up after this. Oh, we got a critical hit. Not that it mattered. So Carvana fainted. Perfect. 208 experience. Oh, I do have the XP share on still. Okay. Oh, Cappuccino grew level 17. I do need to get the Moonstone. Actually, I can evolve with the Moonstone we get from Mount Moon. That'd be good. That'd be good. Oh, I got beat by a little brat. Oh, man. What a disaster. The boss is going to be furious. <laughs> Snivelling wimp. Stand back and watch me. The 27th strongest member of Team Aqua. Take... I hadn't noticed that text before. Never mind. I would have thought that would have been kind of like a standout comedic, comedic moment, but never mind. Um, Zubat. I wonder if actually that was a reference to another game of some sort. Zubat is scary. Obviously, I'm, I'm sure I could live it. I could aerial ace and just kill it, but where's the fun in that? Amara, let's give you some screen time, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? I'm turning Asian by the sound of it. Shall we? Really? Yeah? Really? Yeah? Wing attack. See? I knew it. I knew it. Predictions. Look at that. Take it like a champ. Amara's going to grow to level 15 as well. Let's go for the Icy Wind, see how much that does. Oh wow, we're faster than the Zubat. A massive Diplodocus thing, if I got that right, is faster than a small bat. Sure, bite. Is that going to do much? It does a good amount. Oh, that's because it was a critical hit. Okay, let's go for Rock Throw, because that would have been super effective as well, actually. And that's a dead Zubat. Perfect, so Amara's going to grow level 15. I wonder if you learn anything good. I know you learn Takedown at some point, which is going to be powerful. Oh, ha, <laughs> okay, yes, I'll forget Powder Snow, because I know Icy Wind can miss, but Icy Wind's got a lot more power in it, plus takedown with Refrigerate is going to do a lot of damage to whatever wants to stand in my way. Anyone else? Oh, Aragon, hooray with the correct name this time. You love War Gun too, no more Bubble. Patch of Screw level 17, Caravana, okay, let's go, oh, why does, does Patches, no, Patches knows Force Palm now, right? Check moves. We do know Force Palm, so we can go into patches. Hopefully, oh, Aqua Jet won't kill us or anything. Well, actually, I kind of regret my decision. Now, Riolu's got this. Riolu can take this on. It's only, it's three levels lower. We've got this. Force Palm. Oh, he goes to the Aqua Jet. I have got Bullet Punch. I will be faster, so... Okay, we took that really well. We took that better than I thought. Riolu's stronger than I thought. And Force Palm kills it. And Rough Skin doesn't do too much. Keep going, Riolu. I need you to hurry up and evolve into Lucario, though. That would be nice. It's a real shame that Lucario's Mega Stone is a real pig to get. I think you have to win, a, like, a Masterclass contest, which obviously during a Let's Play is not going to happen. I mean, I could trade it over for my X and Y for competitive reasons, but actually, no, there's no point because it's flipping banned by Smogan. Unless you do Ubers, of course, but he uses it in Ubers. It's all about Mega Rayquaza. Oh, no, Mega Rayquaza is not even Ubers, is it? Ignore me. Oh, who's this? Some scary guy. Just swagger. Max swagger. Activated. It's Verlis. In disguise. What do we have here? I came to see what was taking so long and just steal a few parts. And my screen's gone into sleep mode. Um, I'll find you, Sims, getting beat by this kid. <laughs> That's quite a fierce expression for such a wee little scamp. The face tells me not just another minus trainer brat. My name is Archie. A rough looking lot. You see here are members of my team. Team Aqua. 
Dun! 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 That's a terrible, terrible attempt. So tell me, girly. Do you know what Pokemon people and all life in this world depend on? Sea for life? That's right, the sea is an irreplaceable treasure for every living thing on this planet. And with, our, with our selfish extravagance, humanity uh, dirties the great ocean, destroying the source of all life. Day by day, we're already destroying our most precious resource. If we humans suffer from our actions well, maybe we'll end up getting what we deserve. But what about the Pokemon in our world? The Pokemon that no longer have a place to live because we stole and soiled their seas. Pokemon that won't have a place to raise their young and watch them grow. We are creating a world in which innocent Pokemon suffer as a result of our actions. And that is something I can't forgive. That's why I came to a decision, see? The foolish actions of my fellow humans, the seas we have blighted, nature itself, I will return everything to its unspoiled beginnings. <laughs> it's not like me to ask uh, to talk so much. Never mind, little scamp. I'll withdraw for now and leave you be. But understand this. Get in my way again, and you won't walk away unscathed next time. Remember that, at least. We're moving out, lads. Young lady. Ah, mate, is it? That was quite a tense situation. Thank you for helping me out. Oh, yes, I almost forgot that you bought the parts from Devon. May handed over the Devon parts to Captain Stern. This is it, I can't be standing around here. It's finally time for us to set on our ocean floor expedition. Thanks to this, and excuse me. And that's the museum section of this game done. Never again will we have to go to such a boring place in a Pokemon game. And now I'm trying to think of a funny thing I could put in at this point, but I can't think of any place more boring than a museum. Oh no wait, there must be another museum, right? Maybe the, there must be one in Orgberg, right? In, in Sino, or... Oh no, there's a museum in Kanto, isn't there? Never mind, never mind. The, the moment's passed, the joke won't be funny anymore, especially as I've explained it. Thank you for waiting, we restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Right, so now I think what we want to do is go visit the contest hall, right? Or we would want to try and walk through this route and it'll stop us. Yep, see? Hey, that Lisa and Ali are doing a shoot over there. Are you serious? Lisa? I'm just going to call her Lisa. Are you sure? Hi, everybody! Lisa here! Me and my Altaria... No, I'm not doing that. Me and my Altaria Alio have come to Slaypool Seas Contest Spectacular Hall for a bit of fun! Ali, li, li. Well then, watch me as I dive right into a action today. Yeah! Dazzling, dizzying, doldrums defying. Dazzling, dizzying, dazzling, dizzying. Oh, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa's miraculous contest scouting. Start. Select. Lissy, scout me before your next boyfriend. Lisa, Ali. Alright, I'm going to bring another fantastic trainer into the world of contesting. Eeny, meeny, miny. You there, watching me with that baffled expression on your face. Hi! Have you ever joined in in a contest? Uh, have you never joined in a contest? That's just what I want to hear. Then let's get this show on the road. This is the trainer I'm going to scout today. And her name is... May! When I took a good look, I could easily see that May is a powerful trainer. With several badges on her own already. May! You can enjoy the contest spectaculars at the Pokemon Contest Hall right here. Now listen up. I don't just want to see you making your Pokemon strong. I want to see you bringing out a whole new brilliant side of them to show off. So here you go. Take these. This is a contest pass, which is the first thing that anyone needs to take part in a contest spectacular. And this is one Pokeblock kit, which will let you make Pokeblocks for your Pokemon out of berries. And we obtained the contest pass. And the Pokeblock kit. So now we can actually contest in Pokemon contests. May's story begins today. Yep, and this chapter should be titled A Sudden Encounter Miraculous Contest Scouting. Okay, that's the name of this episode then. That's what I'd call it. Now, everybody out there watching, you better expect great things from May. Because I do. And that's it for today's Lisa's Miraculous Contest Scouting. See you all next time. Altari! That's not me fapping, I swear. Lisi, you're so cute. 
If you feel up for it, try your hand in a contest for me, okay? <laughs> and look at all the thirsty guys following her in. Ah, oh, dear. Right, that was what I expected to happen the first time I went to the contest hall. Um, did I heal? I can't remember. Have I healed or not? Looks like I have. So, I know we've been doing a lot of trainer, or we've done a few trainers, a lot of story and sort of exploring today. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and catch a Pokemon for ourselves to exchange. I should have battled that Volt, but we could have been a high level for an egg. So what are we going to get? It's an Electrike, and I cannot paralyze it <laughs> with Thunder Wave. So, ooh, uh, I don't like Horlucha being on top here. That's scary. What have we got for this thing? Let's go into Lance and Twister this thing. I'm pretty sure, actually, no, it doesn't even have an electric move, does it? It's just Tackle and Howl and Quick Attack and Leer. All right, we can Twister this thing. It's fine. And what level is it? 11. So, if we get a good egg, could go in our team, I guess. Just need to level it up a bit. That Quick Attack on too much. Go away, Electrike. Let's just, just be caught. That Twister. As long as there's no crit, we should be good. We should be good, right? Please no crit on it. Please no crit on here. Thank you. Okay. Let's start chucking Pokeballs. Permitting I have some. I do. I have some Great Balls as well, which is nice. Oh, yeah. I remember I ran out last time. I ran out when we tried to catch a Tentacle or something. All right. Electric, you're going to be mine. One. Two. Oh, come on, dude. Really? Uh-oh. This thing's setting up on me. I'm just going to throw a Great Ball at it because I don't want this thing being too, too scary to my team. If only I had a ghost type, be set. So let's check a great ball. Are we gonna? I'm gonna catch it. One, two, three. Oh come on! Seriously? Fun way. Well, at least I got that Marvel, the Ma Marvel, Marvel scale boost. Let's um chuck another great ball at this thing. Why is it being so stupid? Why is Electric so stupid to catch? Really? I mean, seriously? One, two, three. Thank you! Was that so hard? Gotcha, Electric was caught. Lance gained something, something, something. Oh, I just remembered what I missed! <gasps> I just remembered what I missed in the last. <laughs> in Slaypool. We're gonna have to get back and get it. Because you'll see. You'll see. Electric runs faster than the human eye can follow. The friction from running it is, covered, is converted into electricity, which is then stored in this Pokemon's fur. Give it an end to the Electric. No, because we're going to trade it in for an egg. So you've gone to box four. So that's the spare Pokemon box, I believe. So what I'll probably do is, we'll hatch this egg, we'll go get the item I missed, and then we'll probably call it a day, because it, we are on, what, 20, some, 20 minutes, maybe, roughly? And uh, whatever entails next. I mean, the next route is going to take a while to go through. And we have got a certain Master of Tricks house to go through. So I think we might have to do that next time as well. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Right then, what exciting thing can we hatch from an egg this time? No, not deposit. Move. Right, organize boxes. Who, who can go in the box? We'll just put Trutini in the box for a second. Lightning Rod, okay. I don't know which box. Uh, we last picked from that one, so we're going to pick from this one. I'll pick that egg there. So whatever egg this is, is going to be level 11. And obviously, Jeep's Claws is in play, so if it's duplicated Pokemon, we've already got it. We'll swap this egg for another one. It is a... It is a... Ferrisseed! Not bad! I have a wall! I wonder if it has, like, rocks and stuff. Not that I'll probably ever use Stealth Rock, but let's give a nickname to Ferrisseed. Um, I don't know what to call I know what to call you. Let's call you... Ballin. Oh, no, not Ballib. That was close. Ballin. Because he's ballin. Because he's round. You get me. Right then. So let's quickly put you up to level 11. Oh, I dropped, the, dropped my stylus. Level 11 Ferrisseed. What did I just deposit? Deposited Dratini, didn't I? Hmm. See, I would quite like to have this thing on my team because Grass and Steel is. A, I mean, it's a, obviously everyone knows Ferrothorn is a very good defensive Pokemon, and it can actually hit hard too. It's got a decent attack. Rollout. Uh, I don't want it to learn Rollout, but it has got four moves already, so it could have something good. 
Very good, actually. Um, and his defense is a sky high already, look! Curse. Uh, no, we'll live without curse, thank you. Two more, one more level. And there you are. So what? <laughs> Let's see what moves it has, shall we? I have a feeling this might be competitive bread. So let's have a quick look. It's got iron barbs. It's got yeah, let's see. Uh, up special. Yeah, it is. Look, harden, leech seed, bullet seed, stealth rock. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now this has put me in a sticky situation because grass and steel is obviously a uh, very good defensive typing. And it can, it can do damage. However, it is like the, the weakest thing on my team, offensively. Hmm. Uh, to be fair, Dragonite would seem a lot more fun. The, what are the chances of me having the Dragonite? Probably pretty slim, because I don't think I'll probably have a Pokemon that high level. Hmm. I think we'll keep we'll keep Ferrisseed on the side for now. But thank you for whoever sent that Ferrisseed in. I would, well, the only thing I really want now is a fire type. A fire type would be really nice. I wonder if any of you sent me any starters in, which I haven't found yet. So, if I'm right, there it is! We found the Alakazite. So, hopefully one of you guys sent me a lovely Abra. I may put the Alakazite in the item's pocket. So, I think that's it for Slateport, guys. We've pretty much explored Slateport to its fullest for now. And I'm sure one of you guys will leave in the comments saying, Oh, you missed a hidden item somewhere or something. So, uh... Yeah, hopefully I didn't. Hopefully uh, we've, we've covered Sleepport. So, next time, guys, we will be going and taking on... Um, wait, what's this Pokemon in the grass? I have a feeling it's a Wingull. Uh, whatever it is, we haven't seen it yet to Wingull. Um, we will be going on taking on the Trick Master's House and also the dreaded rival battle with a Marsh Tomp. <clears throat> Marsh Tomp! Ferrisseed, I'm bringing you along. <laughs> I'm bringing you along, Ferrisseed. Where are you? You're my, you're my guy. You're my guy for me, uh, for Brandon right now. Wait, I started off with Torchic, didn't I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. So, um, yeah, Ferrisseed can come along. Who am I going to put in the box? Probably Minchino, sadly. Level 17. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think we'll take we'll take. I I retract my previous statement. We're gonna take uh, Ferrisseed on our team. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it doesn't evolve until like level forty something. So could be a while till it evolves. Actually, it'll be very helpful for Team Aqua as well. So I'm thinking we'll probably take it and uh, go away, hidden Pokemon. So here's Team Aqua. We'll quickly bump into them, see what they want to say. Let's keep going through Route 110 and head for Mount Chimney. Wow, that's quite far. Why don't we just take a rest in Marvel City? It's on the way. Great idea. Alright guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this episode of the Egglock. Sorry it's a bit shorter than the rest, but I did say I wanted to make them a bit shorter. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like for me, because that would be very much appreciated. Um, subscribe if you aren't already, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.